Is the great storm on Jupiter that has been raging for hundreds of years only a shadow or a mere marginal version of the greatness that it used to hold? Today, we are going to find out if this storm is really shrinking to the point that in the next 10 years, it may disappear altogether. But first, let's go into the beginning of this story, the roots of this storm, and how it might have began. Because how could something the size of multiple Earths form on this planet without there being some huge disruption. While scientists and astronomers aren't entirely sure at all, many believe it is likely a high pressure system on the planet and it's been able to last some 400 years because there is no surface features on Jupiter. It's basically just a gas ball with a solid core estimated to be about the size of Earth. So there is no friction to rip it apart like here on Earth. It spins counterclockwise with winds definitely over 400 miles per hour. I mean, the storm itself is bigger than our whole planet. And the reason scientists and astronomers are so unsure about the storms on Jupiter and many of the constant weather patterns is because this planet is constantly changing one of the fastest moving worlds in our entire solar system. And there are so many chemicals and moving parts that go together that it is almost impossible to pinpoint all the causes or specific events. But all we do know is that over the years, it has been shrinking more more rapidly than ever. And again, scientists aren't really sure why. Now, where it gets very interesting is when we can see and compare images and even drawings taken of the planet, and in these images and drawings, compare the size of the storm then to where it is now, and as you will see, the change is extremely visible. We don't know exactly how long people have been studying the Great Red Spot for, but the earliest records date back to 1664, when an astronomer noted a great spot or storm on the planet, but he may have been looking at something entirely different altogether because it was so long ago with no real evidence, it could have been something that's long gone, maybe even a different storm. But an astronomer saved the day when in 1711, he made the first depiction of the storm in a painting where the great red spot seems to be visible almost in a faint red color. What's interesting about this picture is the size and detail of this red spot. In his painting, it looks very similar to what we see today as a smaller sized storm. Back then, it should have been much bigger in comparison to the actual belts of Jupiter. After this, things started to pick up with even more observations, and between 1831 to 1879, there were 60 recorded observations made of the spot. And this sketch in 1881 clearly shows the great size of the storm, easily able to swallow over four Earths with room to spare. Now let's look at some more recent photos taken by Pioneer 10 in 1973, and we can see how red and big the spot was in this picture. And now, let's take a look at some of the very recent shots that show the red spot has gotten considerably smaller and a more circular shape. Now, as this storm begins to shrink, strange things start happening within the storm as the smaller it gets, the fiercer and more stronger the winds blow, almost like an ice skater who spins faster as she pulls in her arms. Now, on top of all this, it seems like it has compensated some of its width or some more height because it's now getting taller, seemingly being forced to stretch up. A good example for this could be clay being shaped by a potter's wheel. As the wheel spins, the artist can transform a lump of clay into a short tall vase by pushing inward with his hands. The smaller the base, taller it will get. The colors on the storm are also deepening since the year 2014, as the chemicals rise higher in the atmosphere, being subject to more UV light, causing them to get deeper. So as we now see, Jupiter is an ever-changing, extremely dynamic world. And from my point of view, it doesn't really matter if this great storm on Jupiter keeps shrinking, it's larger, or even disappears altogether, because in the next 10 years, as things begin to speed up rapidly, these changes will definitely Definitely provide an amazing spectacle from an observer's point of view. If you enjoyed this short episode, make sure to subscribe as we continue to explore the wonders and mysteries of the universe.